Hello again, this is Ian with your hometown handyman bringing you another small project. Today we are on site. We have a closet that has shelves that fell. Now we are going to repair the shelves by finding studs in the wall. We're going to, in some areas, so we can span the brackets proper distance between each other. We're going to end up using some nice wall uh, drywall anchors in addition to using studs as well. So let me show you what we're dealing with. So you can see here there's holes in the wall. This is where the shelving was at and we took it down because these holes here you can see they're kind of split in the middle over there. They actually pulled away from the wall the drywall anchors that are in here. You do not want to use drywall anchors alone if you're going to support a closet shelf, especially if you're going to end up putting larger items on top of that shelf. They, they will come loose and that's all they had for support were metal drywall anchors and there was no studs that these were fastened to. So and you can see the span between those two securing points is, is quite large. So. We're gonna get them situated. Stick with me. Let's get it going. I just want to share with you real quick the type of drill bits I'm using. I'm actually using an extension, so it's a matter of clipping longer drill bits together, these extensions, to help me get in areas that I might end up scratching the hardware or bumping into something and denting it. You know, this just keeps me well away from damaging anything. These are very helpful. And then also when you are doing this, you're going to want to make sure that you pick an appropriate size screw because it's easy to grab a screw and not think about it and go through the wood. Or sometimes the screw just sticks out a little bit and then there's a sharp point that can cut you. So just pay attention to that. It's nice to have extensions for your drill bits and also pay attention to the length of screw that you'll be using. That can ruin the finish. All right, let's get to it. That's a wrap. Today we had these shelves that were coming loose. You can see the old holes that are in the wall here. Those are in areas where there was no support. There's actually a block, cinder block wall behind here. That's why we were able to use the Tapcons. And this baby is solid. You could probably do pull-ups off of this, so no, I'm not going to, but it's sturdy. So if you have any projects like this or any other shelving projects, I'd love to help you find out some solutions on how to build it out or how to fix it so you can make sure all your storage is going to be safe from falling and remember small projects is what we specialize in if you have any at all and you'd like any help with them if you have any questions anything like that you can find the contact information for my business inside the link tree link that's in this post and then also you can always call at 321-355-2201 get a hold of me directly and i'd love to help so again, this is Ian Balzer with your hometown handyman, helping you love the home you live in. Have a great day.